Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about the small town of Lusk. Lusk is about 20 kilometers north of Dublin city center. It is still in Dublin County. The name Lusk comes from Luska, meaning cave or underground chamber. It is said that this town dates back to 450 AD when St. McCullen found a church in this area. This area was plundered many times in the 8th, 9th century by the Vikings. It was considered a port city in olden times as the Vikings would come into Rogers Town Estuary and walk up to Lusk. The Vikings used a black raven on their sails, so alarms would sound and the local towns would be able to be prepared and to protect their valuables. Thomas Ashe came to Lusk as headmaster of Corndiff Primary School. He was a founding member of the Round Towers GAA Football and Hurling Clubs in 1906. He was also a founding member of the Black Raven Pipe Band of 1910. He commanded Fingal's 5th Battalion for the 1916 Easter Rising and he's listed as coming from the Donabate Turvey area. There was a monument dedicated in 2016. Next to the monument is the Carnegie Library Building. The Public Library Act of 1902 enabled rural districts to build libraries. Andrew Carnegie, who made his fortune in steel production in the U.S., he donated nearly $40 million for 1,200 libraries to be built in English-speaking countries around 1905. 600,000 of this money was dedicated to Ireland. 66 libraries were built, and six are still in use today. This library was built in 1908. This is a school building. This was built in 1874. It was the second school building built on this site. As you can see, it's a very well-built building and is still used today as a parish center. This school had four teachers, four classrooms, and about 120 pupils. Located next door is the St. McCullen's Church. The parish dates back to 1669. The original church on this site was built in 1809, but it was declared unsafe in 1922, demolished due to structural faults that built up over time. The current church that you see here was built in 1924. There's a large monument for Father Peter James Terrell, who was the parish priest for three years. On October 14, 1843, he was imprisoned with Daniel O'Connell and a few other men with the charges of attempting to undermine the Constitution and to alienate the loyalty of Her Majesty's forces in Ireland. Father Terrell died during the preliminary stages of the trial, and his death was attributed to fatigue. Father Terrell was considered a martyr for this cause, and you'll see that in some of the writings about him. At the time, this monument was controversial, as it was very political, and they had put it on the church grounds. Here you'll see a panoramic view of the town, it starts in the north, and you can still see a lot of farmland around. Luska Irish Wine was named for Lusk. It is one of the few Irish wine producers using Irish grapes. As you get to the east, you'll see Lambay Island. The population in Lusk has grown dramatically in the last 20 years. In the early 1900s, the population was between 300 and 600 people. By 1996, that had grown to 2,300. Around 2002, the actual number was 2,456. Then the growth began. In 2006, it was 5,200 people. There was 7,000 people by 2011. And the last census of 2016, has over 7,700 people. The most well-known part of Lusk is the Round Tower. It stands today 24 meters, 
Originally, it was 32 meters. It was built by the 9th century as a defense against the Vikings. Back then, the doorway was 4 meters, which is about 12 feet above ground. But the tower has sunk or has been buried over the centuries. Ladders would be used to get into the tower. The monks would be able to bring the valuables. They'd pull the ladders up and they'd be able to stay in this tower, which was not able to be burnt down. The Norman Square Tower was built around 15th century. This has one of the best preserved medieval tombs inside of it. There's two different tombs. One of the tombs is from James Birmingham, and the other is a husband and wife, Christopher Burnwell and his wife, Marion Sherrill, from 1589. The Church of Ireland, which is on this location, dates from mid-1800s, but today this building is used as the Lusk Heritage Center. We noticed a lot of the townspeople walking through the round tower grounds. These people have a wonderful view when they're going shopping. Lusk is a must-see city if you plan to drive around in northern Dublin County. It's about 15 minutes from the airport, so you can definitely see this before you leave. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.